Hello, and welcome to Riptide Hosting's video lessons. This lesson covers accessing your server via a DRAC card. Specifically, this covers accessing an R200 server that has a DRAC4 card installed. You would access the server to either power cycle the server, see the state of the power of the server, or console into the server to see the state of the server. This would be handy if you could not access the server via remote desktop or was not responding correctly. To do so, open in an internet browser, type in the IP address of your DRAC card, and hit enter. At this point, you may very well receive a security warning like the following. Click continue, and you will get the login screen for your DRAC card. Input the username and password we assigned for you for your DRAC card. Click OK. At this point, you can identify this is a DRAC 4 card in two different locations. If you see a DRAC 5 or other card, please consult another video lesson for access instructions. So the two options we have here are power and console we're going to cover in this lesson. First, usually you would console into the server to see the state of the server. If you tried that and you saw the server's not responsive or it's hung, you can click on power to reboot the server, shut down the operating system first, you can check or uncheck that, you can reboot the system, or in this case, it's giving the option to power off the system. If you power off the system, you have to then power back on the system with the same page. So let's say we're going to reboot the server. We click Apply, and if you're sure, you click OK. We're not rebooting, so we'll click Cancel. So let's cover consoling into the server. Click Console in the menu, and note that it says, click Open Console, launch the redirect Java applet. So if you've not installed this before, the first time, you will need to install it, and also make sure your security warnings or security is set to let you do this. Once you've done that, or once you click Open Console and you'll see if your security settings are correct, you may very well get the bar up top that tells you it's blocking. You would have to allow this to install and allow it to open. So now, values change to loading Java applet, and the window is open. At this point, you can now see the state of your server. In this case, the server looks to be okay and we can log in. To press Control Delete, you can use the little keyboard macros down here and click send. At this point, you can log in with your username and password and see the state of your server. You could change the IP addresses or any other settings. You can basically control the server as, your, as if you were remote desktop into it. If you have any other questions or suggestions, please give us a call at 888-282-1883 or you can email us at support at Thanks.